Why, hello there. I hope you are having a marvelous weekend. This is a video response to Phil's most recent vlog where he talks about stuff he believed was true growing up. So, here are six delectably adorable stories for you from me. Let's get started, shall we? Number one, all gratin potatoes. I thought that they were all rotten potatoes, and I wouldn't eat them. I was not going to put a rotten potato in my mouth and chew it, swallow it, digest it. No way. That sounded disgusting. I believe this for many, 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 many years, and no one could convince me otherwise. I have eaten all rotten potatoes, and I know now that they are made with cheese sauce. <laughs> and that they are tasty. Number two. I thought my house was haunted. Specific specifically, the bathroom. My mom's bathroom, to be precise. I was sure I saw a ghost in the wallpaper of that room. Imagine a nine-year-old trying to go to the bathroom and relieve herself, and she looks at the wallpaper, which included a sepia-colored house. And then she looks at it from a different angle in the mirror. And she's sure she sees a little ghost, probably yay big, kind of like Casper, floating in it. Terrified me, and I would not go and pee in that room with the lights off. No, no one died in that house. It was a new build. There weren't any accidents. At least major ones. Um, while it was built. So, I don't know why I got in my head that this little paper house stuck to the wall was haunted. The, the fear went away when mom wallpapered over it. <laughs> Funny but true. Number three. I thought that the Tooth Fairy would take rocks in exchange for my teeth. One time I lost a, a tooth while I slept. I think it was in one of the canines. I swallowed it. I was very upset. So I decided I would find the whitest tooth looking rock I could find. Sure enough, I found it. I put it under the pillow. And I got 75 cents for the tooth. So, I don't know where I came up with that or why, but I believed it. Yes, I did. And number four, I was sure that baby me was in my abdomen and that somehow I was just growing around that baby. I told my mom for years that I was keeping the baby inside of me. I never heard a story about that before. I didn't really think about birth or anything like that. 
I just figured that's where baby me went as I growed up. <laughs> and five. When I was around five or six, I got it into my head that if I acted like a dog, my parents would get me a dog. So I chose to pretend to be a poodle. No, I didn't want a poodle. But I pretended to be a poodle. I would chase the ball, roll around on my back. So, yeah, I was acting like a dog. Don't know if it worked. But my papa indulged me. He would throw the ball and I would chase it. I am weird. There are even video, not videos, but photos of me on a chain pretending to be a dog with my little hands up like this and my tongue out. And I'm wearing a little dress with farm animals on it that my mom made. Wow, I was a creative child. And number six. Six, not seven. <laughs> what could be a good story? Hmm. I was sure that a sunflower was going to grow out of my mouth. When I got my wisdom teeth out, I got a sunflower seed stuck in one of the spots where the wisdom tooth was. And I couldn't get it out. I tried and tried, and I had to go to my dentist, who managed to pluck the seed out. The creepy thing is, it was sprouting. But I was certain that my dentist, who was an avid gardener, was going to leave the seed in and let it grow. Uh, that only lasted less than two minutes when he did get it out. But that was scary. Really, really scary. So, those are six stories from my years of things I believed would be true. And they weren't. So, Comment below and tell me weird things you believed growing up. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye.